This culture creates women that are complex and indefinable. And it creates men that are easily categorized into two groups. <laughs> One group I call the man artist. This is the artist of manipulation. <laughs> this man is incredible. He could be caught in the most compromising situation with another woman, and in walks his wife, catching him in the act. And she's all, oh my God, Abbas, I can't believe you! Jack, you humiliated me! Without missing a beat, he turns the table. <laughs> you haven't seen me for two days, and you shout at me, you don't say hello, and and that dress makes you fat and ugly. This is why I can't be with you. You have psychological problems. <laughs> then Lord answers, Oh, I must you. I'm sorry. Salam, how it How are you? I lost myself. <laughs> I think a perfect example of the man artist is the Iranian president, Ahmadinejad. Do you guys remember when he was in Columbia University and in his introduction, the guy's all, you're a petty tyrant, and your government's been doing this for 28 years to its people. Turns the table. <laughs> he doesn't justify. He doesn't deny. He just says, is this how you treat guests in your country? <laughs> and that whole thing about homosexuality, you guys don't understand. He, the man artist, also changes the meanings of words. So in his mind, he's thinking, okay, homosexual is to gay, is gay is to happy? Of course we don't hang happy people in our country. <laughs> there are no happy people in my country, <laughs> except for me. <laughs> the other group, oh, you guys are my heart. You guys are intelligent. This is the group two man. I'm gonna call you Bahram. I don't know why. He's intelligent, he's analytical, he thinks about everything all the time. And when it comes to love and romance, he has the charisma and knowledge of Kahu. <laughs> That's not true. Not iceberg lettuce, more like spinach. <laughs> and I, I have a secret for you. All the men in my family are Bahrams. And me, at my core, I'm one of you. The only difference is me being female, I have an extra X chromosome, which just makes me more interesting and charismatic. That's all. And you guys are my heart, and my heart goes out to you because you guys are usually unlucky in love. Very few of you get lucky with the right woman. Unfortunately, tonight, I don't have enough time to, um, to help you choose that woman, but I will say this. Please don't go to Iran and the first woman that gives you attention and maybe some thing. <laughs> Don't think you've suddenly changed and now you're sexy and charismatic. You're not, nothing's changed. <laughs> she sees you as a ticket out, okay? And I don't know what it is that gives you away. I think it's the way you speak Farsi. Farsi's different in Iran than it is here. So it's the way you get into that ca taxi cab and you're all, adam. <clears throat> They spot you and they work you. And the problem is that 99% of the time, it's bad news because either one, she's got psychological problems, as anyone would have wanting to get out of Iran. <clears throat> or number two, she's got a boyfriend somewhere that she's trying to get close to, somewhere out of Iran. Or number three, she's perfect as most Iranian women are. She's perfect, she's just not in love with you. <laughs> Bahram. So it's bad news. What you've gotta do is you've gotta work on yourself here and find the right woman here. And um, I will tell you this. Look at her mother. I swear to you, we turn into our moms. I was so trying not to that I decided not to even have kids because I didn't want to turn into her. So now, when my mother possesses me, I lock myself in a closet with a telephone and I crank call people. And I'm like, hello? And they're like, hello? And I'm like, <laughs> And they're like, who is this? Of course you wouldn't know who this is. I could die. You don't call me. I'm sorry, I can't die sooner to make you happy. <laughs> and 
they're like, who the hell is this? And then I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh, I was sitting on that one all day. <laughs> we turn into our moms. And there's one female mother-in-law, Bahram, that you need to stay the hell away from. Because not only is your Ladan going to turn into her, but she's going to, let me just tell you, this, this mother-in-law is the kind of woman whose family was the first at everything in Iran. <laughs> they were the first to ever own a car, ever own a color television set. Her dad or grandfather was the first dentist ever. Boy, did they multiply. And she can be so manipulative, Bahram, you won't even see it coming. With just looks, she's gonna emasculate you. Oh, Bahram Jun, you know, Ladan's car is already one year old. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You look a little naz. She should I'm gonna close this with a Buddhist quote. She's gonna emasculate you so much that your prostate will shrivel up into nothingness. <laughs> the good news is you'll never have to worry about prostate cancer. And here's the Buddhist quote. How could nothingness get cancer? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>